before pandemic when we had those thoughts, I wish I could just stay home and get things done. I've been wanting to do that project on the house. I've been wanting to read that book. I've been wanting to do this. I've been wanting to do that. Well, it's all been done. All of it. Except for somehow the dishes. How is it that at the end of every day, it looks like 10 people just ransacked my kitchen and left a mountain of dishes in the sink? I mean, it's just me and my husband in the house, so I have no idea where all of these dishes are coming from. Really, I don't. Um, and I don't know about you, but I've pretty much just been living in my PJs and slippers for the last nine months. So I promise you, friends, at the end of pandemic, when you see me walking like this, like I'm losing my balance, Please reach out and catch me because no, I'm not learning how to surf. I'm trying to relearn how to wear heels again. I mean, ladies, you know what I'm talking about, right? Hasn't it been nice to have the meetings on Zoom though? But you know, when I'm trying to comment, I keep a certain order in mind of how to go about doing things just to try to keep it running more smoothly on my end. It kind of reminds me of those old Bop It toys that I remember having as a kid. I remember the game would say, Bop It, Twist It, Spin It, Pass It. So when I'm commenting, I almost feel like I'm going, raise it, unmute it, mute it, lower it. But sometimes I forget the pattern and don't lower my hand. So then I might get called on again and I have to say, sorry, brother, old hand. I think if I didn't remind my husband to lower his hand after his comments, he would have his hand up for the whole meeting. I'm sure of it. Which when you think about it is not something that would happen if we were actually at the Kingdom Hall. Can you imagine raising your hand for a comment? The brother doesn't call on you, moves on to the next paragraph. So you're following the next paragraph, your hands up still this whole time. And the brother asks you, are you okay? And you realize what's going on. Oh, sorry brother, old hand. Another thing that's been nice about Zoom during the pandemic is I've been able to connect more with my family. Um, I'm the oldest of three girls and anyone who has siblings might be able to relate how it seems like parents are more strict with the oldest one. And then by the time they get to the youngest one, they're pretty laid back. I'm gonna give you an example. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup, light eyeshadow, light lip gloss, anything like that until I was about 13. Now the middle sister, she was allowed to start wearing makeup at age 12. And the youngest sister, she was five. I'm just kidding, she was I think about 10 years old. Anyway, there are perks to being the oldest. I did get my own room. I did get the hand-me-down car from my parents when I started driving and my baby book is the one that's the most finished. Both of my parents have big hearts. They're softies. So do you know who else it's gotten easier for over the years? The pets in the house, especially the dogs. I remember when I was about five or six, we had a dog that was trained that when she was inside the house, she was only allowed in the kitchen. On the hard floor, easier for cleanup, except for being able to make a beeline for her blanket that was in the corner of the living room. But no getting on the beds, no getting on the furniture. Those were the rules. That was then, this is now. I pick on my family, but they know that I love them. We're really close, so it was a little hard when I got married and moved away, but my husband and I were able to go to China. Now, anyone who has learned a new language knows that there are difficulties and confusions that are going to come up when you're learning a new language. So we're looking for an apartment in China. We're going through a realtor company and two young guys from the company are helping us out and neither one of these guys knew any English. So to help the story, I'm gonna just translate into English what they were saying in Chinese. Something came up in the apartment that they had to ask somebody else about. So they tell us, wait 15 minutes. So my husband and I are looking at each other, trying to translate and figure out what they just said. Okay, we get the 15 minutes. Something's happening in 15 minutes, but we have no idea what, okay? The guys could see that that's the part we were hung up on. So one of them leans into my husband, really close to his face, probably about right here. His eyes get big and he slowly says, wait. We still didn't know what he said. So his buddy smacks him in the arm and I could tell exactly what he said by his body language. And what he said was, dude, what is wrong with you? Saying it slower is not going to make them understand. I mean, at the time, for all we knew, the guy could have been saying, sorry, brother, old hand. Another thing that we had to get used to in China was the toilet situation. Now, the restaurant that we were in had one of those hole in the ground types of toilets. And for those of you who have never seen one, here's a picture. So 
you can imagine that that in itself is going to be difficult for a foreigner to try to use. But not only that, many times around the toilet, the floor can get slippery. So I'm in the stall and I slip. My foot shoots into the stall next to me where there is somebody and I freeze because I'm realizing that my foot and part of my leg is now in the personal space of the person in the stall next to me. I am horrified. So I try my best to get out of the bathroom as quick as I can before she comes out of the bathroom. So I come out and my husband sees the look on my face and knows that something horrible has just happened. So I fill him in. About a minute later, I see the woman coming out of the bathroom. I know it's her because I saw her shoes when I slipped, which means she also knows what my shoes look like because I pretty much had my foot in her face. So as she's walking by the table, I'm hiding my feet under the table so that she can't tell that it's me. There is something you can take away from the story though, friends. The next time you forget to lower your hand after commenting at the meeting, just remember that others have done far more embarrassing stuff to themselves than having to raise their hand and say, sorry brother, old hand.